With the League Cup 11 and pursuing the theme of convalescence, Paul Scholes is back on the bench. Villa have played 2-1-2 this week and further uplifted by Mark Delaney's prompt return to fitness. Otherwise, it's last weekend side with Lee Hendry back from his midweek rest. Well, let's face it, Manchester United don't often lose three games in a row, added to which it is a couple of decades since Villa beat them here. The assumption has to be that this week's form guide is more blip than underlying trend. Having said that, Villa recently proved very difficult to break down. Manchester United haven't scored a goal in their two defeats this week. This is Ronaldo. One of the uh, survivors. Uh, defeat at the Hawthorns. Doesn't look much wrong with him. 62 on New Year's Eve and ready to be manager of Manchester United approximately until hell freezes over. Ronaldo. Van Nistelrooy. Ronaldo. In towards Claverson and behind necessarily by Dion Dublin. Making his 299th Premiership appearance today against the club for which he made his first. Ronaldo's corner, through to Keane, bounced back out for Cleverson, and bounced off Hendry to temporary safety. Very Keane still waits for his 50th goal for uh, Manchester United, he was the whip of the post away from it. David O'Leary perhaps uh, inspired, although Aston Villa haven't won away from home in the Premiership this year by the fact that a couple of their better performances have been at Arsenal and at Chelsea. It's perhaps worth giving it a go in the uh, really big games. Cleverson. Fortune. Giggs. Before it's time to turn. To play it in for Van Nistelrooy, who holds it up for Cleverson. It's Cleverson, it's Van Nistelrooy. It's another Manchester United goal for the man who just always seems to score them. The finish was simplicity itself. Some of the build up was absolutely sublime. Delightful touch from Van Nistelrooy. It was sublime in its simplicity. Helped into the Brazilian's path and served up on a plate for a man who gorges himself on opportunities such as those. Thirteen for the Van Nistelrooy season. He's now seven shy of his century for Manchester United. Heaved long towards Dublin, and Dion Dublin snapped it forward and saw it deflected away for a corner. The big fella can uh, use his muscle to good effect in the opposition box too. Tough little run this for David O'Leary and Aston Villa. Wednesday's win against Palace only served to uh, increase the intensity of the run up to Christmas. Manchester United today, they've got a local derby against Wolves next week. Then the uh, League Cup quarter-final against Chelsea. Awkward for Hendry, who did enough. Really important stretch, that, from Lee Hendry. Into the last 90 scheduled seconds of the first half. it away from Ronaldo and Manchester United with another corner heading into the final minute of the half Ronaldo with it look at all the space here for Giggs away from Dublin hung up by Giggs Van Nistelrooy two there's such an ease about it Aston 
from Villa defence as to quite how Ryan Giggs was left with 10 yards to himself. And Mr Roy's pivoting turn is uh, utterly familiar. And then he finds the net after it is no surprise at all. And with half-time closing in, Manchester United are easing clear. Given that sort of space, Ryan Giggs can indulge himself. Given that proximity to goal, Ruud van Nistelrooy knows what is required. And he has proved that now 94 times for Manchester United. and then Van Nistelrooy scored, and then Van Nistelrooy scored again, and Manchester United had a gentle telling rhythm, eased away from Aston Villa, and lead at the break by two goals to nil. Well, there was a bit of the old strut and stroll about Manchester United in the first half, a flavour of we'll score when we want to. Lead of the second half may depend on uh, whether they want to carry on scoring. Perhaps they'll have an eye on uh, Stuttgart's visit here on Tuesday. Perhaps, on the other hand, there'll be uh, a new steal, a new resolve about uh, Aston Villa. Who are too close to the bottom three of the Premiership to uh, feel at all comfortable. This is Angel. And this door. Giggs, who was an absolute delight before the break. Van Nistelrooy. And okay between him and Giggs. Strolls across. Going to be wide again for Delaney. Tackle back. Still came to uh, Whittier and then Barry. Keen protecting the box. Mark it! Mark it! Mark it! Barry. Hendry. It's a decent try. Pretty good touch over by the uh, American keeper. Played it inadvertently to Van Nistelrooy. Here's Ronaldo. Has to find a path round Delaney. It's Ronaldo's cross. It's Ruud Van Nistelrooy. Hasn't really had a clear-cut second-half chance to uh, complete the hat-trick that waits for him. He got one at Leicester the other week. That was uh, his first shot since half-time. It's one of the colder days of the autumn, and uh, Sir Bobby is well wrapped up against it. Back in by Hendry, and Howard has come and came very well. And distributed hurriedly for Claverson. Fed through for Forlan, who's onside here and has belly on waiting. It is Diego Forlan for Manchester United. Here's Ronaldo. who lashed it wildly wide. So far, Manchester United and uh, Alex Ferguson, who's watched no doubt tallies, are away from uh, a win after two consecutive defeats, ahead of a busy week. Old Trafford will be full again on Tuesday for Stuttgart's visit, and there won't be a spare ticket next Saturday either, when Manchester City, the neighbours, come to call. Long ball forward for Forlan. Who kept possession well under considerable pressure from Dublin. Diego Forlan. Oh, absolute streamer! Terrific! 
big goal. And Diego Forlan, whose long, long wait for his first Premiership goal was finally ended in this fixture when Aston Villa visited uh, last autumn, has crowned the largely uneventful second half with an absolute gem. His maintenance of possession in the first instance was uh, splendid, but when he looked up and let go his left boot, that was uh, a little bit special. Scots. Up by Samuel. Claverson. Hungry for more, perhaps. Ronaldo. Claverson. In for Forlan. Flag has stayed down. Diego Forlan again. It is a happy habit he's found. Took weeks and months for him to score his first goal in this league. These days he scores at will. And Manchester United, with a late burst from the Uruguayan, have doubled their lead here to 4 0. Lovely stuff from the Brazilian. And the Uruguayan believes he can score every time he's in possession just now. His smile is one of the broadest and brightest in English football. These days we are seeing plenty of it. Last kick of the match. Well, the job was done by 3.45. It was polished off beautifully by 10.25. Goals for Forlan, goals for Van Nistelrooy. A splendid hour from Giggs. A pre-European run out for Scholes. Manchester United's ideal afternoon. They're winning again. They have won 4-0.